Yes. I went into a store in Brooklyn and I sat with the guy and he said, we're going to take care of you. You got the buy one, get one free iPhone. I guess it only covered a certain amount because we got the, the larger capacity size and then asked me about the iPad. And I said, I don't need it. I, I already have an iPad. I don't use it connected to the internet. I don't need it. And then he said, it's 50 bucks. We'll give you five extra gigs of data. We won't even make you pay the $10 a month fee. So I figured it's 50 bucks. I can't lose Get an iPad for 50 bucks. don't have to pay a monthly fee, five extra gigs of data, it's the best of all three worlds. But clearly it's not the best of anything because I just got lied to and now everybody keeps telling me that that's not the way that it works. Can you just look at the notes from, from May 20th? Because two supervisors told me the exact opposite. Both of them said that this would be taken care of. And now you're telling me the opposite. I, I wanted it, miss. What I didn't want is to be lied to about what I would get in the long term. When somebody says that they're going to do something, I expect them to do that. I, I don't know at and system that I'm going to sit there and I'm going to be able to, to understand the, the changes that are made onto this. Your contracts are mind-boggling. So, so you want me to have broken down that contract, understood it in 14 days before I got hit with the charges that I wasn't supposed to, and then after I had two supervisors fix it for me, two supervisors fixed it, authorized that on May 20th, and now two months after that, I'm being told that that even wasn't authorized. So what the hell was the point of me speaking to two supervisors on May 20th for them to do nothing? The first bill that I called about was what? Something about... I was lied to from your store reps, and now multiple. Look, then look at your notes because the, your supervisor told me to call them on conference, and we called them on conference, and then she said, "Don't worry about it. We'll just take care of it on the phone." So. So what do you want me to do? Go back to the store five months later, and and then hope that the employee still works there? When I had a problem with my bill, I didn't call the store because the store doesn't bill me. Your national corporate office bills me. So I called national corporate to deal with national corporate. And national corporate put me in touch with two of your supervisors, of which both of you have lied. Both supervisors lied and said that they would do something and it was completed. And I would see it in one to two billing cycles. And that hasn't happened. So to answer your question, why I haven't called earlier, because you give me one to two billing cycles to see that hit. So since it hasn't hit in two billing cycles, that's why I waited, ma'am. Be like I was told to. 
like I was lied to by your employees. That's why. No one's asking to return it, ma'am. I, I didn't say anything about returning. What I said was that I was told that it wasn't going to be a charge, and then I was told that it was going to be credited, and I was told that it was taken care of. And all three of those things never happened. Yeah, and they're not going to happen. There's not a way to do that. So at and just lied to me three times, wasted hours of my time, and now you're uh, telling me to just like, deal with it. Yeah, but two months ago when I spoke to the other representatives, they wasted my time. So so I'm calling you now because two months ago somebody lied to me and then another representative and another supervisor lied to me. And now you're telling me, oh, tough shit. Sorry, that's all I can do for you. Don't worry about all the other people that bullshitted you and lied to you all the time. I'm not going to lie to you. Like, I'm going to tell you exactly. I didn't say that you are or that you did. What I said was that previous well, people have. So you guys just strong-armed me and lied me into this. You guys lied for me to get it, and then you're lying about the credit, and now you're saying you can either pay the cancellation or you can keep paying for it moving forward. But nothing that I said, nothing that at t said was ever going to happen is actually going to happen. So it's all smoke and mirrors with you guys. It's all just a lie. Everything that you guys do is just lying, smoke, and mirrors. I've been with you guys for 15 years. And now you guys have just lied over and over and over again. Are you there? Yes, sir. I'm here. I'm not understanding what you're asking. What I already answered. So, so you're just not going to do anything about it. Hope that I hang up and I'm okay with it. But that's no, fine. I can do. Well, there I'm there was a supervisor that was willing to do it before. There was her supervisor that was so appreciative of my understanding of the situation. It would have already been done. Then put your supervisor on the phone, ma'am. I'll talk to that person. A four-day callback. Yes, sir. It won't change anything either. It's, it's still going to be the same situation. What's your name? Angelica. Angelica what? Mendoza. Angelica Mendoza. Okay. And what was the supervisor's name from the last conversation that I had? I can only give you my information. But your representatives told me that their names are record. Or in the records. Yeah, they're all being noted on your account, but I can't give you that information. I can only give you mine. Okay, and then you guys record all of your calls, right? They're random. It's not necessary. Okay, so how do I request that this call get recorded, or that the May twentieth call gets you pulled? Have that option. You guys don't have any way of pulling a May twentieth call. That's not any access you have. I didn't ask myself. I said you. Your AT and T management doesn't have any way of pulling its own employees' calls. So how does somebody pull the call for training purposes then? That's not our department. Okay, then. And all of that is proprietary information. Like I can't explain these further. I guess it's proprietary too on how you guys just lie to people and then hook, line, and sinker, smoke and mirrors, force people to either pay the cancellation or just suck it up and deal with it. At this point, I, I've explained there's not anything you can do about the iPad. Do you have any other questions about the iPad? No, I've recorded this conversation and I will bring I it on social media. I actually authorized it with your previous representative. Yes, 